Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Netflix for the Nintendo Wii. Now, this works a bit differently than on the Xbox 360. On that console, it is a download directly to your console, and you, then you can access your instant queue at any time. Now, on the PS3 and Wii versions, you're going to need to get one of these. This is the instant streaming disc. You need to have this in your console to access your instant queue. Now, you can get these discs for free if you're a Netflix subscriber. And there's no shipping cost to you, they'll send them to you completely free. So that's a really cool plus. Um, so how does this compare to the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions? Let's find out. Alright guys, so let's get started with this review. This is of course the disc menu, and we'll go into the instant queue right now. Now it should just take a minute to load. I believe the 360 version uh, loads up a bit faster. I'll have to do a comparison video now that I have a 360. I'll do that sometime in the future. Now the instant queue should come up in just a moment. Okay, here it is. Now of course you have a selection of uh, movies and TV shows in your instant queue and you can select these with the Wii Remote cursor and also you can move back and forth between them with the plus and minus key and you can also use the arrow keys on the left and right. Now if you want to select an episode just hold the cursor to it and press A. Now you can see you can actually resume an episode you're watching. You can also play from the beginning, you can remove it from your queue and select another episode. Now if you want to select another episode, you can actually look here and select the one you want and it'll also give you a synopsis below it. If you want to go into it, you can just do play episode and this will take a minute. Now I'm not going to show you any of this video because I don't want to get any copyright issues going on, but um, this will just show you the basic concept of playing and fast forward and rewinding. Now, um, you, of course, you can press the play button to play and pause. Uh, you can fast forward and rewind with the arrow keys on the left and right. You can also um, use the a little circle in the middle there. You can use the plus and minus keys to scroll through these um, stills as well. And uh, if you want to play one of them, you can actually click on the still and uh, it'll retrieve it and load. Uh, or you can um, highlight one of the steals and then press, press the play button. Now if you want to leave, you can press that button right there, or you can press the B button. Now, of course, this is the instant queue here, um, but you also have some different choices. Uh, you can also go into recently watched, which will actually show you, you know, what you recently watched on your instant queue. You can go to movies you'll love. These are some recommendations that Netflix will choose for you based on what you watch. Uh, you can also go into British movies, which have become pretty popular. Exciting movies. And you can also check out some of these, uh, it'll say like 21 Jump Street Season 1. Um, it, these will actually give you recommendations um, on shows that are like ones that you've watched. So it'll give me recommendations like 21 Jump Street Season 2 or Roswell Season 2. And of course, it'll give you uh, some of the likes for a few different shows. Uh, and you can scroll through these menu screens with the directional pad buttons. You can also check out the new arrivals in movies as for television shows as well. Now this also has um, comedy movies. You also have uh, different choices in action, adventure, drama, science fiction and fantasy, independent films, uh, romance, thrillers, television children and family, horror movies, document, documentaries, uh, and foreign films. But yeah, now, um, one of the bad things about Netflix on Wii is that, you know, the Wii is only capable of 480p resolution. So you're never going to have HD streaming on this console. Now, the 360 and PS3 versions do have Netflix streaming, 
in HD. So, you know, those might be a, uh, a better console for you if you want the HD streaming. But for what it is, the Wii works great with Netflix and uh, the quality is, is pretty darn good too. So I'm gonna have to say that uh, Netflix for the Wii is a great alternative um, if you don't care about HD streaming. All right guys, till next time.